21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, 1% gases such as argon and carbon dioxide, and minute amounts of trace gases. Together, they form air. Because of their low density, gases such as air can be compressed unlike liquids. Compression forces the air molecules closer together increasing the density. Air pressure can be expressed in pounds per square inch or PSI. The first way to compress air is by displacement. This means enclosing an amount of air and reducing its volume, like in a bicycle pump or a piston compressor. The air volume can be reduced in other ways as well, by rotating screws, gradually decreasing the space between them, or by tooth-type screws or scrolls. A second way to compress air is dynamic compression. Air is drawn into a rapidly rotating impeller and accelerates. The kinetic energy is then transformed into pressure as the air slows down by expansion. Compressed air is a useful resource in virtually every manufacturing process. It can produce motion and exert force, such as in pneumatically powered tools or machines. We then call it energy air. It's a main power source on many construction sites, as well as in remote locations, such as drill rigs or on ships. It powers braking systems and opens train doors. When air is part of a production process, we refer to it as active air. It conveys tons of powders, pellets, and grains. It's used to maintain pipelines and provides the pressure for cleaning and paint spraying. Overpressure keeps out impurities from clean rooms and critical production areas. Compressed air is also a vital component in fermentation, combustion, liquefaction, and refrigeration. It's used for gas treatment or air separation. Because the gases forming air are not mixed chemically, they can be separated into oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. Compressed air also provides oxygen to water purification and blows plastics into shape. It helps patients breathe and drives precision tools in a medical environment. In short, compressed air plays a part in countless products and services we enjoy every day. Air has a capacity to convey objects. It also conveys very small components such as solid particles, microorganisms, and water vapor. As air is compressed, the relative particle content and humidity increases dramatically causing water vapor to condensate, potentially leading to contamination of equipment or products. That's why sophisticated equipment accompanies the compressor itself, filtering impurities, draining the water condensate, ensuring clean, dry air of the highest quality. An American-born leader in compressed air is Chicago Pneumatic. People. Passion. Performance.